in this bulletin, two traditional Australian icons get together to promote family, health and sport. A tiny church in Queensland had 10 visitors turn up wanting to be baptised. And thousands of Christians in New Zealand are called on to pray for those experiencing financial hardship. This is In Focus Adventist News. Hello, I'm David Gibbons. The well-known Sheffield Shield competition returns to the Australian cricketing calendar this October after a 10-year absence. A new five-year partnership between Sanitarium Wheatbix and Cricket Australia has brought back the traditional name. The series will now be known as the Sheffield Shield presented by Wheatbix. In doing this, the Seventh-day Adventist-owned Sanitarium Health Food Company is extending its support of Cricket Australia and Australian cricket player Brett Lee. The Sheffield Shield began in 1892 and the return of the competition in October coincides with Wheatbix's 80th birthday. We just felt that Wheatbix is an Australian icon and it would be wonderful to hand back to Australians another icon, being the Sheffield Shield Cricket Trophy. More than 31 million packets of Wheatbix are sold each year and the Australian owned brand has been the nation's number one breakfast cereal for more than 40 years. Only a few days after the Pope's departure, an Adventist evangelistic program will open in Sydney with advertising using the Pope's image. It is featured on the front of an eight-page brochure with the heading, Who Will Make It Right? As well as the Pope, the brochure depicts the Dalai Lama, American presidential candidate Barack Obama and environmental campaigner Al Gore. The lectures will ask the public who is the best able to get the world back on track. The meetings will run in the Greater Union Theatre at George Street in the middle of Sydney and in the inner western suburb of Ashfield. A tiny Adventist church in Brisbane with only 30 members has just had 10 visitors turn up and they all want to be baptised. The visitors had been attending a Jeff Yulden program run by the Deception Bay Church in July. Yulden told his audience five reasons why he believes Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's using that theme because it has been successful for the Evangelistic Search DVD series. Yulden says that he used to start with lectures on archaeology, but has found that audiences grow during the series when he talks about the signs of Christ's soon return. An Adventist country pastor is producing three-minute segments for Victoria's Gippsland Television. Christian Copacano says Wind TV has agreed to sell the whole three minutes of a commercial break to the church. It will cost as little as $500 in peak times to be the only commercial in the ad break. And the price will be much less in off-peak time slots. The three-minute TV segments will feature Bible and health topics. Thousands of Adventists in New Zealand have been called to pray all on the same day. A special day of prayer on August 2 will request financial relief for struggling families. The rising cost of fuel, mortgages and rent are hurting many families in New Zealand, so church leaders are calling on all Christian believers to petition God. The head of the Adventist Church in New Zealand Pacific is Jerry Matthews. I have him on the line. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear me? Hello, David. Why are you calling church members together for a special day of prayer? The harshness of the price increases in petrol, food, rent, I believe is is really a call to prayer. Thanks, Jerry. Every Seventh-day Adventist has been asked to start praying at 11.30am New Zealand time on the 2nd of August. And finally, in this week's special edition of Record, Science Magazine is used by many community groups to share spiritual insights. ADRA continues its work in Burma following the devastation of Cyclone Nargis in May. And the Science Ministry Coordinator says he's even more excited about Science Magazine than when he started with the magazine 16 years ago. That's the news for this week. And don't forget that the full edition of In Focus can be seen on Hope TV every Friday night and again on Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching. I'm David Gibbons.